Sling that jank. Alright, Rakdos Agro, War of the Spark Standard, we got Dreadhorde Butchers, we've got trying out a Tybalt, just to see how good it is, but uh, this deck has been sort of a deck for a while since uh, since Judith the Scourge Diva came out. Uh, we got some pretty nice upgrade with uh, Dreadhorde Butcher for sure. So the idea is we're a pretty fast aggro deck, but we're a little bit different than your standard mono red because all of our stuff for the most part deals direct damage aside from maybe gutter bones is the only creature so we got eight aggressive one drops play set of gutter bones can return it once we deal damage for a pretty cheap mana cost otherwise it's just a highly aggressive two one for one mana got a play set of footlight fiends deals that direct damage whenever it dies we can do little mini combos with heart fire in the deck. Uh, this is the reason to play the deck, Dreadhorde Butcher. Uh, if you connect with this a couple times, it's more than likely you're going to win that game because uh, this thing just getting bigger and dealing that uh, huge amount of direct damage, uh, even without any kind of pump spells, which some decks are designed to abuse his ability and uh, the uh, uh, the Arcanist as well, to pump him up and and make them deal a lot more damage. You don't really even need that. This is just a fine two drop uh, without any other kind of pumps. The other two drop haster is the Fireblade Artist. You can sacrifice it on your upkeep or sacrifice a creature on your upkeep to deal two damage directly to an opponent or planeswalker. So another way to get that little extra reach to close out the game. Otherwise a nice hasty aggressive two drop. Got a couple heart fires as a nice option to sack our creatures in response to them dying anyways and and converting our creatures into even more damage four damage is a pretty uh, good chunk this is a nice spell a nice addition from war of the spark got the playset of judith the scourge diva it is legendary but if you got too many in your hand just play another one and that'll equal two damage directly you can deal but uh yeah with this on the battlefield all of our creatures deal so much more damage all our little dorks with Judith can get out of control really quick. Got a really big spectacle package in this deck. We got uh, we got 14 spectacle cards. Got three drill bits. Probably the least aggressive card in the deck, but just being able to take that key spell out of your opponent's hand that maybe would sweep the board or whatever the case may be is going to be really good whenever you're trying to just kill your opponent really fast. Got the playset of Light Up the Stage. It's our source of card advantage. So we're going to be able to keep our hand filled up with aggressive creatures and aggressive burn. So then we got a playset of Skewer the Critics, just your standard 3 damage for 1 mana. I'm going to try out a single Tybalt. I did have uh, the 4 spawn of Mayhem in this spot before, but just want to try it out. Of course, uh, preventing our opponents from gaining life when that matters can be relevant against a deck like ours, because we're just trying to kill them very fast. And it does create devil tokens that deal damage which is totally in the theme of what we're trying to do here it basically creates footlight fiends so it's pretty cool we'll try it out as a one of we'll see if it comes up and if it's relevant and got a place at a spawn of mayhem i did have or i'm sorry have three spawn of mayhem the fourth was replaced by tybalt uh trying three now three one split uh, this card is just uh, really powerful it enables spectacle every turn it stays on the battlefield and it gets bigger it's a nice finisher that your opponent has to answer immediately or it'll it'll close the game out for you. So we're going to try 23 lands. That might be a little bit high for this deck, but we do have several 3-drops, and essentially with light up the stage, it could give us some filtration and selection throughout through you know those cards to where even though we have uh, plenty of lands, we should get plenty of spells as well. We'll see. So yeah, let's run some... Rakdos Aggro and War of the Spark Standard and see if uh, Dreadhorde Butcher and Tybalt and Spawn of Mayhem can get it done. Alright, painful mana base to start out with, but looking pretty good to me other than a one drop creature. So let's try it. Okay. 
Looks like we're playing against a Mardu variant of probably the same deck. Well, the good thing is we get to get in with our our Dread Horde picture here. Hopefully they don't have a Butcher of their own, though. No, they're not going to have it. Enforcer is good against us. Here's our third land. Guess we just got to get aggro here. Actually, I'll just send in the artist. Get rid of the death toucher. Play out your bones and pass. See if we can keep Dreadhorde Butcher around. Kill that priest. Oh, he's getting in, huh? No blocks. That means we get to connect with our butcher because I really doubt he's going to sacrifice it to the priest. Or, I doubt he's going to block with the priest. gets bigger. Let's see what we hit off of this. Footlight fiend. Actually Actually I think we just go to the face because we almost have him dead. If they make a sacrifice If they make us sacrifice a creature, that's good for us, I guess. I'm gonna throw one of these now. Do I throw the other one? Now I have plenty of mana, so. I can hold on to it, it doesn't matter. Unless they have some kind of hand disruption effect, but hopefully they don't have that. Ooh. Okay, life gain, that's not good. I still think they're not in, I think we're in pretty good shape still. Number one. Ooh. That might do it. Yeah, that does do it. Let's see, he can gain two life. So he's at ten. Four. Let me just see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay. Get him with that. Sacrifice Butcher. He's probably going to try to gain life in response by sacking a couple of his guys. Well, or he'll do it now.
we did it. That was a lot of damage out of nowhere. I don't think our opponent expected. I don't think our opponent expected that. <laughs> Ouch! Can't play the gutter bones on turn one, but otherwise the hand is pretty good. I guess I played this tapped in case we draw a swamp on turn two, so I could play two gutter bones on turn two. Nope, didn't work out that way. <sighs> that would have been cool, though. Wonder if we're against Grisha's control here. Probably gonna die right away. Nope. Moment of craving. Oh, cool. No moment of craving. Interesting. Oh, okay, it's the discard version of Grixis. Play this tapped, play a gutter bones, and hold up heart fire. I don't feel comfortable playing the spawn because they could have like a a ritual or something. Okay, there's Cry of the Canary. This will prevent uh, one of the gutter bones from getting exiled at least. And hit him for a lot of damage. That may have been what it takes to s for them to stabilize against us though. they don't. If they don't have a removal spell, then we win. Looks like they're looking for one. Of note, cast down does kill this, so... Oh! They found it. Ooh. All right. It's gonna be a close one. Oh, I was wrong, by the way, about oh. saving my gutter bones. I guess what is how does Cry of the Cornarium read? Your existence is pointless. Alright, you killed my guy. Drill bit at the worst time here. We just wanted some aggression. Hmm. That's tough. I guess we gotta take guess we got to take this Nicol Bolas. 
because cast down could kill one of our guys, but may, hopefully it'll be a guy that at least does damage whenever it dies. If we get a creature. Gotta exile land. Conceivable. I outsmarted you eons ago. Just give us a skewer off the top, come on. Interesting. Will resonate throughout the multiverse. Sure. He's gonna run us out of land. Oh yes. Yes, baby. Gotta love that. Woo, just in time. We're about to lose land. <laughs> oh man. Epic. Alright, Rakdos getting there against Grixis. Nice. Got that painful mana base again, but we got nice one drops and a drill bit early on in the game. Let's see what happens. We'll turn one land where elves. Better bones on. Don't feel too good about not having anything to kill that elf with. For a land, are we? Okay. Found the land. Pretty strong start for our opponent. successfully brick walled. Oh man. That's like a really good card against this. Strange as it is. Let's see here. I guess there's always spawn of mayhem. Give us a, a chance here. Guess we gotta get some spectacle going here. I wonder if we should just go for the spawn now. Right now he has no creatures in the graveyard, so he can't kill it with a... With a uh, It's called the three two that kills flyers. But if that spawn dies, I don't know. Our chances aren't looking very good in this game. No blocks. Wow. This must be elves with biogenic ooze. I thought it was regular Stompy, but it, now I'm starting to think it's just elves. It had a lot of thorns in it. Okay. Send in this guy. Uh, we'll send in this guy too, because. No, actually, no. Yeah, one attacker. 
Where was our spectacle? Let's get some nastiness out of their hand here. Oh, Galta. And the Harpooner. So, oh man, this is a weird situation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cost five right now. So if they top deck a land, they can cast Galta. But if I put a creature other than Harpooner in the graveyard, they can kill my spawn. Dang, this is tough. Because Galta's an auto win for them. Or in a, in a turn or two. Oh man, I have to take the Harpooner. Did not feel good though, I'll tell you that much. Let's see. Spectacle. I guess I hold up, hold up the heart fire. Whew. Don't draw a land. It wasn't a land. Okay, no Galta yet. If we somehow pull this out, this is going to be pretty crazy. Either way, this is a pretty cool game. Oh, actually, he can call it cast Galta now, right? How much? Let's see. One, two, six, seven, eight. Oh, wait, no, he can't, huh? What am I thinking? He doesn't have any matter. What am I talking about? Let's see. 14, 13. And a turn. Hit him for five. Goes down to eight. We might actually get this. Yeah, I think we're gonna get this. As, as crazy as it is. As long as he doesn't rip uh, another harpooner off the top. I think we have this. Whew. Okay, no Harpooner. Good. So, I think we win. Sure, no... Oh, no blocks. Wow. Got there, man. I did not expect that one. Uh, kind of creature light, but we got a lot of action here and card draw and everything. Let's try it. Hopefully we can hit with Butcher on turn two. Looks like we can. For our Butcher, that's the turn. Is this Simic Nexus, maybe? Get in. At least this guy's getting good. Let's see if we can find a land here. There's a land. Let's see what our opponent's working with. Ooh. Guess the worst one we gotta take right now, although Karnak Tyrant's nasty. I guess we take Steel Leaf. 
So we gotta be faster than, than Carnage Tyrant, basically. And with a 3 3 Butcher and a Footlight Fiend, already in the battlefield and a lot more aggression, we could get there. Yeah, I'm gonna clear it out of the way. Let's go for the light up the stage. Get in. Blocks there. Maybe. Get our spectacle. stage. There's a Judith. Alright, we're still at 20. We got a 4 full flyer. Judith coming up. He's still not to Carnage Tyrant mana yet. Probably will be next turn though. Looks like he's not doing a whole lot this turn. We can actually empty our hand next turn, or at least with Tibble and Judith. take damage with the blood crypt really. Play Tibalt. I would be Make a devil. My assistants are All painfully right. sloppy. I don't think they can do anything. We know they can't gain life unless they deal with Tibalt, so that might do it. Yeah, because Hydroid Crisis can't gain life if they have that. Access to seven mana. Oh, okay, so he's probably just dead. 
Yeah. Nope. I'm sorry, it's not gonna do it. Alright. Took out an interesting Simic Rampy Carnage Giant build. Three lander, but I like our creatures. No one drop, but yeah, our creatures are still good, and we got that six points of burn. Let's try it. Ooh, is this Esper control? Thought erasure. Dreadhorde Butcher is going down, I think. Thought of Rush is such a good card. Oh, Judith, okay. Well, not to say that's the wrong decision or anything, but at least we get to cast this Butcher. I guess if they got the moment of craving it, you know, doesn't really matter. I'll do all these while he can't get absorbed. Ha! Yeah, I knew about those anyways, right? He just wanted to surveil. Because he is stuck on land, huh? No, he's not. Oh, man, come on. My goodness. a lot of land. Oh. Whoops. I meant to. I thought I was going to be able to cast skill there. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, this isn't... This isn't really blue light control. That makes me feel a little bit better about the situation. Get our Judith back. I doubt he wants to trade. Unless he's got a spell to make a 1 1. Oh, he is going to trade. No, he's not. Well, we got eight lands, so we can cast. No, we don't really want eight lands, I'm just kidding. Dang, took it. Wow. That's funny, I totally thought we were like in terrible shape and gonna, we're gonna lose that game. 
that's just weird how my mindset was. Think I, I was thinking I was playing against Esper Control, so it was just like felt abysmal. <laughs> All right, we got there. So I noticed we were getting pretty flooded, so I'm gonna make a slight change real quick. I I'm just gonna cut one land and add in a shock. It's back down to 22 lands. I think I when I had 23 lands I was thinking about going bigger and I didn't so that's probably why I was at 23 it might not be right to be at 23 lands so we're gonna try 22 lands with just throwing in an extra removal spell all right this could be good turn one gutter bones if we connect we could do a turn two drill bit down. White for our opponent. Huh? Alright, we're connecting. Get our drill bit on. See what our opponent's doing. Whoa. Dang. And sore. Sacrifice a creature, huh? We still gotta take Gideon. Okay. Gutter bonus number two. Gotta fight through through two Gideon's triumphs here. It's gonna be Animortify. This instant? Yeah, okay. Well, that means we can heart fire in response. Oh, wait, no, we have to sacrifice. We can't heart fire in response. He's got the mana for Mortify, too. So, Spawn of Mayhem looks pretty bad. Well, I'm assuming we sacrifice one here. Down to 16. Spectacle light of the stage. Skewer. I guess I'll keep up Heartfire if he makes me. If he decides to go for that again, I can Heartfire in response and get value that way. Oh, okay, just a history. Well, gutter bones ain't getting in now, right? Hmm. I don't know. That's tough. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta pass. Just thinking about still firing off the heart fire. See if he's willing to trade away a knight. Cool. Guess we go for this guy again. Throw this in his face. Get our other red around that guy. It's a good card. And it's plus time. Plus two brings him to six. Loyalty that's pretty darn good. I don't know if I can beat that card. Not to mention he's got a mortify in his hand still.
<laughs> I meant to do that earlier. I think this history of Benelia Trigger actually they saved me. <laughs> I meant to do that during my turn. I almost screwed that up. I got saved. Although it's... I'm still in trouble. Don't get me wrong. Butcher. Yeesh. Everything has vigilance. Try to play defense here. Wish he'd fire off some of these removal spells. Jeez. Yeah, this deck's good against us. Just because of all this removal. It's protecting the marshal, right? Gosh. There's any way we're getting out of this. Yeah, that's not going to do it. He's got infinite removal. All right, the deck ran pretty good. Uh, needs a few more tweaks, I think, of course. But yeah, like maybe 20, 21 lands. Is what, I, is what I think I would try next. Maybe put in the second shock. But, uh, yeah, I like the configuration. Didn't get to see T-Bolt in action too much, but it seemed fine. Maybe the fourth spawn is just better. I'm not sure. I think if you had more, more games where you had Judith out alongside T-Bolt, that's where it would really shine. Well, all in all, it's a pretty sweet deck. It's competitive and everything uh, oh of note another thing i don't know maybe we just want more aggression instead of drill bit i'm not sure all right bonus uh let's open some packs i got three packs of allegiance and 15 war of the spark so we'll open the uh, allegiance first uh pretty much of the commons and uncommons i have so uh We'll see what kind of rares and mythics I've still yet to get. I probably have most of them. Or I'm getting to where I'm, I'm going to have most of them soon. Oh, mirror. Man, I can't believe I didn't have a place out of those already. Jeez. They always give you that jank first. Alright, earn a mythic wild card. Alright, Ravager Worm. That's a cool one. A mythic, not bad. All right, deputy detention, good one. All right, into War of the Spark now. Uh, War of the Spark, I have, I think I have all the commons already too, so all those go towards Volt Progress for the most part. All right, that's my third Ugin. Definitely one I wanted to pull. This isn't a fight Ooh. you can win. That might be my first fairy. Cool. First or second? Uncommon Planeswalker pack. Single combat, I think that's my third one of those. Hopefully getting close to finishing those off so I don't have to pull them anymore. What do we got? Alright, rare wild card. Rares, rares are where I have a lot of problem... Uh, keeping my stock up seems like I always have too many mythic rares and not enough rares that's the definitely the rarest slot that's what you need the most of I guess there's a rare wild card nice Tulsa mirror I think that's my second one of those or maybe third Citadel I think I have that might be the, my third one of those. Uh, 
Terrence Swing's cool. I think I have him already though. All right, I needed that. So that's my second Red Horde evasion. Didn't need that. I don't I know I have two or three of those already. Gabriel, cool. I've flown on Gale Force Ral, I think I might have a place set of this now. Be a breeze. Seem to be the for the plane the rare planeswalkers one of the ones that gets pulled often. Or quicker more quicker than the other ones. Time wipe, I have some of those already. Okay, I finally completed the playset of these, or I say finally. At least I completed a playset of these so I don't pull them anymore. Tomic. Arcbow. I have some of those. Oh, <laughs> good one. Like Domri. I can't remember how many of those I got. Oh, Mythic Wild. Not bad. Last pack. Tulsimer. Eh. So, uh, we'll see where we're at. War of the Spark. Collected, not collected. Rare, Mythic. So, yeah. Finally. That's good. Finish Tat. Okay, finish Single Combat. That's definitely good. Uh, still got two janky Ravnica Wars to pull. Uh, one more janky Ignite the Beacon to pull. I say that because those are the ones that are going to come up before the good cards. Yeah, I still got to get two Dread Hordes. Got Eternal Kepnet. They've been generous with that one because I pulled all these naturally and didn't have to craft any. Okay, I was up to three Citadels now. Uh, Kranko was another one that they were gen generous with because I pulled those right away. Oh, Arkbo, still got two more of those to go. Oh yeah, Vivian was another one they were generous with. Uh, really want to get a place out of these, and these. Of course, got a place out of these already, because it's kind of janky. Okay, I did complete the place out of Ral. Okay, two Domeries. Not bad. The Nickel Bullets is I crafted myself, so those were not pulls. Okay, dang, still got to get one more Tulsimer. That's disappointing. At least got Johnny out of the way. And Karn. And one more Ujin to go. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And together, let's slink some jank.